Hello and welcome to my world of crochet. My name is Dina and today I'm here with you for another yarn talk video. And as always, we can't start talking about yarn and what I've done the past week on my projects without my faithful mug of tea, which today is a black tea with a flavor of, of forest fruits. So it's just a, a sweeter black tea. Um, yeah, I play with forest fruits. It's uh, it's it's nice as is. It's quite warm right now, so I'm going to wait just a little bit before I'm going to take a sip of it, um, as I just made it. Um, yeah, it's the countdown is real. Um, basically, depending on when you're watching this video, uh, but assuming that you're watching it sometime Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. I will have uh, three working days left, which basically means um, my current job is coming to an end. I spent quite some time wrapping up the last bits and pieces at work. It has been busy at work as well. Um, so therefore, my progress on some projects have definitely not been as much as they normally would be. On the other hand, um, in a bit more than a week, I have plenty of time to start working on some of the projects. I do have plenty of things I need to do as well on the side, um, but I have more flexibility, uh, which I'm looking forward to um, to tell you guys about. Um, yeah, there will be lots of more content also coming up because I will have more time to record some content, including tutorials. There are tutorials people have requested for, uh, so they are in my planning. I do have quite a bit of planning for content. So yeah, please stay tuned for that. Um, and I have other plans coming up as well uh, related to this channel. Um, yeah, I hope uh, I hope you will enjoy that when we get there. But let's get into the yarns because that's kind of why you are here, I assume. Not just to hear me ramble about my um, regular life, right? Um, so... Um, the first project, because we do them chronologically, and currently I do have four projects we can talk about. Um, I need to start up some new, I guess, but I will, as said earlier, have plenty of time to add a few more projects to this list soon. Um, as mentioned, uh, I work on these projects in a chronological order, or well, at least we talk about them in this yarn talk videos chronologically as in the order I started on them. And the first project would be um, the Fleur Mosaic Blanket, though I have not progressed since last week on Fleur. Um, I've basically been quite busy on other things. Uh, you will also see some projects have progressed nicely. Um, but Fleur has been a bit on the back burner. Uh, I will definitely look back into Fleur uh, the coming week, coming weeks because very soon I'm going to have to change this burgundy into a brighter red. Uh, so right now it's, it might appear slightly black, it might appear slightly burgundy, but it is like a red wine red, like here we get the right lighting on it. It is a right, uh, like a, a, a red wine burgundy color, here you have it. Um, it will be changed uh, into a brighter red. So. I'm at row 45 right now, and I need a row of white or cream, and then I need one last row of the burgundy, and then I'm changing into this red. Um, and before I'm changing into the red, I am definitely going to cake that yarn, because once caked up, I can easily put them on the yarn holders that I showed you in last week's yarn talk video um, to kind of help me keeping the yarns out of trouble. In that sense, I do mean tangling. Um, because right now I'm just working with these sort of loose skeins and honestly, I should have predicted it, but it's proving to be a little bit of a keep your tongue straight uh, so you don't tangle them up. And I can do that better. Um, when I start another project, I did not have those yarn holders. I've gotten them since a great deal from Timu. Um, and I'm gonna basically take yarn wider, cake up these skeins so that they are cakes. And then I can place those on the yarn winders and I can start pulling from the outside of the cake 
and we would like just nicely turn around without tangling too much um so yeah i'm i'm definitely looking forward to, to that bit um and the blanket is slowly getting too big to actually proper lay in my project crate so i may need a new project crate as well eventually but that is something i had expected for for a bit but that is the current project crate here um yeah so not progress but i'm still happy with the progress i've made I know I will be making progress. I'm not sure if I will reach it for next time. I might have actually. Depends on how this weekend goes. I do have a few appointments I need to attend to, um, which is not yarn related, unfortunately. Um, the next project that I'm working on, or started working on, is my I-Core scarf. The I-Core scarf is like the Christmas shawl um, or scarf. And I'm working in a three and a half millimeter crochet hook in a uh, Yarnard Rose Garden Cake. Uh, Yarnard is a Turkish yarn brand that has the most gorgeous color changing cakes. Uh, the Rose Garden is 100% cotton cake. Uh, they come at 1000 meters, so 1093 yards to, um, uh, to 250 grams, so that's like 8.8 .8 or something like that ounces. Um, so it is a thin, fine weight. This is what I have left on the cake, and as you can see, we are really into the greens now. Um, gorgeous greens, by the way, and it's getting slightly ever so darker here. So we are like medium green, and the darkest is very center. Not much left, not much left. So I'm really, really closing up towards the end here. So now I need to try to keep track because it is getting quite long um as you may see so um let's start doing like this you can see the christmas trees in there and this is why it has its name um it's by a hungarian designer named k-a-m-e crochet pattern i've gotten from um from hobby i do also believe she sells them on um ravelry but yeah in short the cake started outside in this brown and we are going into these lighter browns into this green and you know i could actually crochet on it like this if i wanted to because that's how long it already is. I need to block this before it's done as well, because, um, yeah, you can, you can actually see it. I need to, let me just <laughs> get it off for a minute. Um, but, but you can actually see it when I just hold it up, you can see how it kind of curls, but that goes all along the pattern. Um, and trust me, I remember I blocked, I've made it before back in, uh november december last year and when i blocked that it really turned out so gorgeous and this one this piece will need blocking as well before i'm done but i'm really really enjoying how this is turning out and i may want to may want to make a second of it just because it's gorgeous it's it's gorgeous i really enjoy it um and yeah, you can, you can basically see how the colors are changing and we are heading towards the more dark. Absolutely gorgeous pattern, works up nicely. Um, even though the pattern is made for um, the Hobby Universe yarns, this is, this is just a pleasure to work with. Um, yeah, not much left, um, not far to go. I predicted last time that i'm probably gonna be done soon um it does take a bit to get around but i still have a feeling i'll be done in september especially because i do have fewer projects that i'm working on right now uh because a lot of the projects i do have also let's say the firefly sweater which i technically started before this one which i've put on hold because i need to block it lots of the projects sorry um, lots of the projects I've planned, uh, some of them are postponed because I want to have the time to block them. And there's just a few things coming up 
where for me it's been easier to say okay i will do it um in october because in october i will have a full month of vacation uh, before heading into uh, the unemployment agency uh, for unemployment benefits um and i haven't i haven't found a new job yet so um i'm going to have to look at multiple options here because the thing is i want a good job like a good job <laughs> i want a job that i enjoy right especially for the time i put into it um and most similar jobs as to what i had um I will start out with a lower salary. Like I, I don't want to hand in four or five hundred euros a month um, to work the same amount of time and even maybe have to spend a bunch of time on transportation. That seems like a waste. Um, so I might just go back to, to being um, self-employed, which I've been prior at this job. Um, it does come with some uncertainties, but on the other hand, uh, there are other certainties that I do have, uh, which is more freedom to do stuff. Um, which sometimes I have to say, I've really missed the freedom I've had just to say and plan my own things. Um, you know, for three years, I've been bound to somebody telling me, now you can have your vacation. Um, or I can request and the latest thing basically with my current job, which is also one of the reasons I'm less sad about it coming to an end is that they declined my vacation that I requested 11 months in advance, all right? Um, like 11 months in advance gives them plenty of time to calculate for it um, and take measurements to prevent any problems, but they chose to not do so. Um, and they chose to decline it. In a sense, the project kind of stopped at our uh, place. And due to the project stopped is the reason for me um, getting unemployed and getting right to unemployment benefits, etc. Anyhow, the next project I'm working on is uh, the Thoughts of Ireland Shawl. And the Thoughts of Ireland Shawl is made in this absolutely gorgeous 100% alpaca. It's called Drops Alpaca Mix. Mix is due to this heathered look it has. As you can see, it's green with some sort of hay color shades, yellow shades. Um, um, yeah, gorgeous yarn. It is a fine weight yarn. I use a D hook, so that's 3.25 millimeters hook, so a very small hook. That's the skein I'm working on. Not progress an awful lot, but I have progressed since last. Um, but you can barely see it, and that's because it's a row of single crochets um, preparing for the next row. So, yeah, basically, here we are. Um, this is where we are. And as you see, I do have a few stitch markers here and there in the shawl, and that is to help me knowing when to do certain increases uh, of the shawl. Um, it is growing. It definitely is growing. So, um, yeah, that I am enjoying as well. I need to get some wool detergent for um, soaking it in uh, because this one I feel will look so much better once blocked. Again, it's not something I need to worry about blocking because I am definitely not done for a bit. I am currently working on, uh, what is it called, pattern five. Like the, the, the chart five, they have different charts for it. Um, and yeah, I'm working through chart five right now, basically. Um, and I do believe there's also a chart six. And I'm not even halfway through. Maybe I'm halfway through. No, not even. Maybe I wrote before halfway through. Two rows? I don't know. Um, I still have a bit to go on chart five. That's roughly it. Uh, I do have more than 300 and... 300 stitches right now, like 324, 348 or something like that. Um, so every row right now takes definitely longer and longer to complete and therefore process might also seem a bit less. But yeah, here we are. It is moving forward. Um, and I don't think I need this center um, 
actually anymore um, because it's not being used at all for uh, for the crew. So now it looks a bit better. Now I only have the stitch markers to indicate when to do my increases. Um, I still have like three balls of this because the pattern set we needed three. So I guess I will eventually need a bunch more yarn um, compared to what I've already used. We will have to see. We will have to see. I'm sure we will be fine. Should be fine, right? Yes. Um, then I have one last project. Tea has cooled down. Nice. The last project is a project that I've done before and it is the um, Summer Shopper bag. It is by Tina Summer Hansen. It's a Danish designer. Pattern is free. It can be downloaded from Hobby. Link down below in the description box. Uh, the Thoughts of Ireland is a drops design pattern. Also link to the pattern, free pattern, down below. Um, you can get the pattern in both US terms and UK crochet terms, but also in other languages. Uh, they do have quite a fair amount of languages, like 10 different languages or so. Um, and the Fleur is by Anke Wintermans, um, which is a Dutch crochet designer. She sells her pounds on Ravelry, probably also Etsy. Um, but yeah, um, this one is uh, is progressing. I am using a 5mm crochet hook. So this is for me a quite big hook size compared to what I normally use. I do have a few other projects coming up that I want to make, which is using 5 or 6mm crochet hooks. So I am heading a little bit into the bigger hooks. Um, I am started on my last cake here. I have about 85 grams over. It started at 100 grams, which is three and a half ounces, uh, 250 meters, so 160 some odd yards. Um, and technically, I finished all the rounds I'm supposed to finish for, um, for this. I did do something slightly different than I did with uh, the first edition. Um, and that was, the, so these are crossed uh, double crochet, uh, which is a two uh, stitch repeat um, when you do them. And I know there are people that's been requesting stitch tutorials on it. I will provide you that. Um, just be a little bit patient with me. I have a few things I need to get done as well. Um, but I get more time to do them, so yeah, stay tuned. Um, but what I've done is that, um, of course, I've done the bottom as I did the other. You can slightly ever see where the beginning is. Um, but this line where you started it is slightly ever so less visible than it is on this. So I'm really pleased with model two. Um, because here, instead of um, doing the chain three and then start working on the double crochets, cross double crochets here, I do a stacked double crochet. It looks so much nicer, so much cleaner. And I'm going to do the same once we get to, to this piece. So that's the thing right now. Um, I technically need to start adding this. Um, I have fewer stitches around. And I'm debating if I should add just one more row of cross double crochets because I really do have the yarns to do it. Um, and also what we discussed uh, on the other on this one is that I, while it's nice with a broad strap, I do feel that this strap could maybe be one or two stitches smaller and still be a good solid strap. Um... And then I want to do them stacked, so I will have fewer gaps here because that's basically each row where you do the chains to start the, the next. So do them as stacked as well. I should be able to do that. Um, yeah, and except for that, the rest is just basically going to be the same. So I think I want to add just one extra row, just because I can, and then the rest. 
And what I also wanted to do was to increase this by, let's say, five or so rows to have the feeling that you have a little bit more room under your arm when you have it and, and wear it. So that's my plan. So, you know, that's, that's you know, in one way, it's a nice thing when you work on things like this. You find places to improve uh, both your craft, but also your skills and the way you can adapt it to um, to fit your needs and desires. Um, and something is telling me it's not the last time I've made this summer shower bag. Um, I'd like to actually make it in different colors, maybe. Um, cotton yarn is really working nice because it's sturdy um, and it's not, you know, it usually tends to keep its shape. So um, I'm, I'm so far really happy with how this one is working out. I, I generally is. Um, I worked on it last week's Yarn Talk video, uh, not Yarn Talk video, um, last week's live stream, morning live. Um, this week I didn't have a morning live because I had other appointments. And yeah, next week's morning live, I'm still planning on doing, and that will literally be my last morning live while still having a job. Um, and I think what I might do is I might just keep this one unworked until then and then we will um, add a round of um, cross double crochets during that morning life. That seems like a, a really good plan actually. Um, yeah, and that's probably what I'm going to be doing. And then we will see how how the rest goes, but I'm sure it will be absolutely fine. Um, happy with the progress and uh, I'm expecting this one to be done quite soon. Um, many more things to come up. Um, what is, is that of course on Monday I do have a new tutorial for a left hand crochet. It is my right handed tutorials that I'm currently flipping around for becoming a left handed to watch. Um, because I know that we have left-handed crocheters out there who finds it easier when they can watch a tutorial being done left-hand when they're also left-handed themselves. So this is to help left-handed people um, equally as well as I hope I help the right-handed people so that they need to use slightly ever so less imaginations to mirror my videos because I kind of mirror them for you. Um, and I hope it's appreciated by you left hand people out there. Um, I'm personally right handed. I can crochet left hand, but it's not going as quickly. And I really need to be much more aware of what I'm doing um, because I'm sort of like something that I can do left. For example, if I'm eating, you will find me um, eating as a left handed person. Um, yeah. I think that's pretty much rounding it up. It's not the longest yarn talk video. Um, it is, as I said, it's been a it's been a busy week, and there is many things to come up in ahead. Um, I thank you for watching and hanging out with me. If you haven't done yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because lots more content is coming up on this channel in the coming month. Um, also, um, I'm happy to announce for you guys if you haven't noticed, I have I hit 1,200 members uh, this earlier this week. Um, which positively surprised me um, and it is still building slowly and securely. Yeah, um, thank you for hanging out with me. Um, don't forget to hit the like and thumbs button um, and I'm going to see you next week in my morning tea live if you happen to be up that early or uh, next week's either left hand tutorial or yarn talk video. Take care and Happy crafting. Bye.